So many strawberries. Pick as many as you like. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy, red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Pepper. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Pepper. <coughs> Yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. Maybe it's time to go home. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, <sniffs> yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted Ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil. And I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First, we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm, mm, marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything. What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty. Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh... Always remember to eat your seven. 
Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes. He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave Mr. Potato goodbye. Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah, I cannot get out. Mr. Potato is stuck. Help, let me out. What shall we do? Help, Call help. for Super Potato. Let me out. Super, Super Potato. Potato. Super I think he might be Super too Potato. busy to come. No, really, really, Super I do Potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us. Okay. Help us, Super, Super Potato. Potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Pepper. It will take a long time to grow. Pepper, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I want the strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Pepper. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad made with grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce, and cucumber. Tuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza. But George does not like the tomatoes, or the lettuce, or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. Now, now, George. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? So. Oh. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? 
George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> <laughs> Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions, and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One. Two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Peppa. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> Pigetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Peppa? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Pepper. Have another guess. Hmm. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Peppa, what have you got in your lunchbox? A red apple. I've got a green apple. <gasps> Swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Yodle! Yodle! Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Pepper. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak. Like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very 
very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. <coughs> Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well. More for us, then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak! Ho, oh, ho! You'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite. Carrots. Delicious! Delicious! Yuck! George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm, carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. <laughs> Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, Ooh. banana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Oh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <sniffs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, ho, ho. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <laughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow. Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. 
Mabel a boy chicken? Yes, Peppa. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig! Pig. We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple grumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa! But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. Apple, apple orange, banana, banana, pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry! George loves strawberries. Smoothies! Get your fruit smoothies here! <laughs> <laughs> What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, delicious. Can I 
have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. It's impossible. This bike is too noisy. I can't hear the TV. You've got to get fit somehow. I know. You can use my bicycle. Yes, and then you'll get some fresh air as well. Daddy Pig is going to ride on Peppa's little bicycle. Daddy, these are the pedals, these are the brakes, and this is the bell. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa, I know. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is pie. <laughs> Getting fit is quite hard work. <sighs> <laughs> now I can get fit without having to pedal. Daddy Pig is going very fast. Oh, maybe I'd better slow down. Ah, the brakes aren't strong enough. Help! Ah! <laughs> Daddy Pig has been gone for a long time. Mummy? Where can Daddy be? Don't worry, Peppa. Daddy must be really enjoying himself to be away for so long. <laughs> Daddy! Where have you been? I whizzed all the way down the hill. Then I had to push the bike all the way back up again. Oh, poor Daddy Pig. Well, at least I've done my exercise. Yes, for today. What do you mean? You'll have to do some more exercise tomorrow. What? Daddy, to get fit, you have to exercise every day. Oh, no. But don't worry, Daddy. I'll make sure you do it. Yes, I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady... Now, Peppa! Woo! Kylie is being carried along by a wave. Woo! <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa! <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever! It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. That's proper surfing. Woohoo! These waves are awesome. Wow. wow! Kylie, where's your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. We've come for our gym lesson. Yes, the children are very excited. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I'll just set up the gym for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just keep relaxing. Relax. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. What are you doing here? 
Oh, hello, Peppa. I've come to do a class. Me too. See you later. <laughs> now, where were we? Uh, we were just starting to relax. Oh, yes. Think of a beautiful woodland glade. Stillness, silence. <laughs> Children, are you ready for your gym class? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What's that? I can't hear you. Surely you can shout louder than that. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Good. I want to see lots of jumping and climbing and running. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Quicker, quicker. <laughs> Calm, harmony, stillness. Jump, jump, jump. Relax. Mummy Pig, what are you doing here? I'm doing a relaxation class. Well, I hope this children's party doesn't disturb you. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. I wonder how I, I can go. <laughs> Just try to relax. Stop relaxing now. Relaxation class is over. How did you find it, Mummy Pig? Very, very stressful. Funny. That's what everybody says. Why don't you have a go on the bouncy castle? Yes, I think I will. Whee! This is wonderful. I feel lovely and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Ooh. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh. Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh. Do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump. Over there. As fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Keep going, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! And my mummy is the winner! <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. <laughs> to me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> Oh, George has thrown the ball backwards. George! I'll fetch it. <laughs> Danny is good at fetching the ball. <laughs> I like fetching. That's good, because fetching is an important part of bat and ball too. Can we play bat and ball now? Yes, Peppa will throw the ball. I'm good at that. And Susie will hit the ball with this bat. I'm good at that. The rest of us will all run after the ball. And I'm good at that. Susie, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Ah! Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie! Run! Oh, yes! <laughs> Quick! Get the ball! Get it! <laughs> I got all the way around. I win one point.
point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <laughs> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes, I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Daddy. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. Now, I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> you need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. <laughs> using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. Swimming and sunny skies We're all going on the sea holiday Sea and sand and ice cream too <laughs> Here we are. The seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on! Mummy Pig, it's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. <laughs> Wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> right.
Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> Ooh. See, I get around fine. I can do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak. Okay, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> Molly, Squeak. and Emily. <laughs> the children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules. And the you're not no, you're the rules. I say you do it this way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. <laughs> Now Susie has it. <laughs> Pass to Pedro. And now to Peppa. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. <laughs> to Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! Hooray! Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. I can do it by myself. I like hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! <laughs> Ooh. 
the school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water. Water. What a lovely hot day. And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water. Water. Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig uh, has lost the wasp. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ping. I like Pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay! <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop. Hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh. How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow. That's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> Can you do hula hoops, Emily? I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Hooray! I think that was about 100. <laughs> George wants to play leapfrog. George likes playing leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, four. Playtime is over. <laughs> it is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, 
Mummy? What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Pepper. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs> now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> <sighs> I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. <sighs> oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My goodness. This is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <coughs> OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. <coughs> Pedro has set off too soon. Richard, I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Peppa. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense! I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. 
Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> 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 Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. Steady on. <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, Pesto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time! <laughs> the wind is quite strong now. The wind is very strong now. George! <laughs> wow. Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. Hooray! <laughs> higher, higher! <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. <sighs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. <laughs> Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense. I know exactly how heavy I am. <laughs> 